In this tutorial, we will cover how to use open automation software to connect with the Azure IoT Hub. This is a part of the data route product offered with open automation software. OAS allows you to move data from multiple sources, including Siemens, Allen Bradley, Modbus, and other industrial 4.0 data sources to Azure. First, you will need to create an IoT Hub on the Microsoft Azure portal. Let's walk through this. Start by signing into your Azure portal. It will take you to your dashboard. On the dashboard, select Create a resource from the top menu on the left side. Next, from the Azure Marketplace menu, select Internet of Things. This will bring up a submenu. In this menu, select IoT Hub. Next, we will see the configuration screen for setting up a new hub. On the Basics tab for subscription, leave it as Pay As You Go. From the Resource group, you can create a new one, or you can choose from an existing one. I will choose OAS for the demo. Region can be left at the default Western US. Next, name your hub. I'm going to call mine OAS Demo Hub. That's it. That's all we need to get going. Click Review and Create. And then click Create. It will take a few minutes for Azure to create the new hub. When it is done, it will say your deployment is complete. Click on Go to Resource. The next page is an overview of the new IoT Hub you just created. Now that we have finished setting it up, let's open OIS and set it up to connect and send data to the new hub. Select Configure Drivers from the top menu. I'm going to select Localhost for the network node. You should select wherever you have OAS installed, either on your local machine or it could be a remote one. First, we give the driver a name. I will call mine Azure OAS. From the driver drop-down menu, select Azure IoT as the driver type. We then need an Azure IoT device ID. I am going to call mine OAS IoT. The next field, Azure IoT Connection, is something we need from the Azure dashboard. Let's go there. Under the Resources menu, select the new hub you just created. Then select Shared Access Policies from the left menu. Next, click IoT Hub Owner under the Policy list. A side menu appears and we want to click the Copy icon next to the Connection String Primary Key field. We will go back to OAS and paste it in. The next field is also one we need from the Azure Dashboard. Select Overview on the top left. Up here, the host address name is what we need. Click on the Copy to Clipboard icon next to it, and then let's go back to OAS and paste it in the Azure IoT Hub URL field. Okay, we have now filled in all the information we need for the new driver. Let's click Add Driver, and then apply our changes and click Save. Now let's configure our tags. Choose Configure Tags from the top menu. Again, you need to select your network node. I'm going to use this ramp tag that I already have set up. It is a double float with an OPC source. We can see here that it has good data quality and the value is changing. I'm going to select the target tab, which is where we need to go to configure data route. I will check right to target. Under the target type dropdown, I will select Azure IoT. Under the Driver Interface drop-down, I will select the new driver I just created, Azure OAS. The next fields will configure how often we want to 
OAS to write the tag's value to the IoT hub. If we choose the dead band option, if the source value is different than the current target value by more than the dead band, a write will occur. If we want to disable the dead band, we would enter zero in the field. If we check the write continuously checkbox, it will log to Azure at the specified frequency. I will enter five in the seconds field so that it will write the value to the hub every five seconds. Let's apply the changes and click save. I'm now going to do the same thing for this sign tag that I have configured. We now have our driver and tags all set up and sending data to the Azure IoT hub we created. Microsoft has an extension for Visual Studio Code called Azure IoT Tools. I have it running and connected to the new hub we created. Let's take a closer look. You can see the ramp and sign tags are sending data from OAS to Azure every five seconds, as we specified in our configuration. There is a tutorial on the Open Automation Software website that goes through what I have just demonstrated. Go to www.openautomationsoftware.com, Support, Knowledge Base, Data Destinations, Azure IoT, Getting Started. Also, Please visit the video section of the OIS website to learn even more about using our product. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.